Hi everyone, I'm Anna and this, well, this is me. Today is a special episode because I didn't paint this spoon just for fun. I painted this spoon for the Belgian 12ME Foundation. The foundation is committed to helping people with the disease ME-CFS. They raise funds and often organize awareness campaigns and this spoon is part of it. I first tried out some designs digitally in Procreate before prepping the spoon for the painting process. It's not my normal type of art, but I do want to share this project with you. I want to keep it fairly simple, because about 100 people are painting a spoon and once they're back at the foundation, they will be combined as one pack artwork for the awareness campaign. But what is ME exactly? It's also known as the chronic fatigue syndrome, but it's a lot more than being tired all the time. I can be very scientific and tell you that it's a post-viral, chronic, and complex multi-system disease that causes among other things neurological and cognitive problems, sleep abnormalities and the disturbed function of the autonomic nervous system, and that it's often accompanied by extreme exhaustion and aches and pains. But why would I do that? Why do I care about the awareness of ME? And why am I painting a spoon for this project? I have strange health issues for over 15 years now. Every time when I saw a doctor, the standard thing they said was, it's nothing, it will pass, or everyone has that sometimes. But it didn't pass and it got worse. A little over a year ago, it became pretty severe. Now, finally, last November, I got diagnosed with ME myself. It's one of the reasons why I've uploaded less videos to YouTube lately. Sometimes I'm just too exhausted or too sick to paint or photograph or anything else in that matter. But don't worry, I'm not planning to quit YouTube. I just can't guarantee videos on a regular basis, unfortunately. ME is different for everyone, so I can speak only for myself. Actually, I'm still figuring everything out, because each day is different and that's what makes it so unpredictable. Normal people do everyday things without having to think about it. But for me, something as simple as showering and getting dressed is sometimes something that takes me all day to recover from. On the other hand, I sometimes feel like I have energy for 10, and then I make use of it by doing household tasks and other things that have to be done. But even though I felt like I could do it at that time, it turned out to be too much in the end. And then I get post-exertional malaise, also known as PEM. PEM leads to worsening of existing symptoms. It doesn't matter whether they're physical or mental tasks. Having people over for a visit, making a hard decision or doing administration can cause it too. I get brain fog and I can't think or come up with words. I have stomach aches and nausea, blurry vision, headaches, painfully swollen lymph glands, fever, heart palpitations, extreme exhaustion and such things. And sometimes that can last for days or weeks. I'm extremely lucky that I'm still able to do some things, like making art and visit friends sometimes. Because some people with ME need to stay in bed the entire day in the dark and need help with everything. Someone with a broken leg often gets help from everyone. But ME is invisible, and that's one reason why there's a lot of misunderstanding. Not only from people in their immediate area, but also from doctors. Because it's also difficult to see it in the blood, or on scans or on other tests. Exercise is healthy, and we can train our endurance, right? Well, not for people with ME. Exercise can actually be dangerous if it's too intensive and can lead to a permanent relapse. So people often think that we are lazy and that it's all imaginary, that it's in our heads. But it certainly isn't. That's why these awareness projects are necessary, because you cannot see it from the outside. You're in desperate need of more research. But I hear you thinking. What does a spoon have to do with ME? Well, there's something like the spoon theory. The spoon theory is a metaphor describing the amount of physical or mental energy that the person has available for daily activities and tasks. If you have a chronic disease in any form, you may be familiar with it. If not, I explain it shortly. 
The Spoon Theory was made in 2003 by writer Christine Miserando. While dining at the restaurant, Christine's friend asked what it was like to have lupus. Christine looked around and grabbed all the spoons on the table she could find and gave it to her friend. She counted 12 spoons and asked her, what are all the things you do each day? While her friend stated all the different tasks she completed throughout the day, Christine took away one spoon for each activity. Showering was a spoon, getting dressed was a spoon, making breakfast was a spoon, and so on. She lost almost half of her spoons before she even arrived at work, and at the end of the day there was only one spoon left and she had to choose. If she was cooking dinner, she hadn't enough spoons to clean everything up, let alone to go out with friends at night or do household tasks. Christine said, on some day you can borrow some spoons from the next day, but it's extremely hard to start the next day with even less spoons than you had today. The spoon theory illustrates how people with chronic illnesses have to plan their energy and activities for each day. Ordinary activities must often be avoided in order to do the most important things. That's why the 12 Ami Foundation chose to paint spoons this year for the awareness project. And this is mine. It's not the best artwork on its own, but together with the other 99 spoons it will make one big artwork and it will fit in. I'll put some links in the description about this subject. I'm not an expert, so I hope I explain everything clearly. If you have any questions or thoughts about this, feel free to comment down below. And subscribe for whenever I add a new video about art or photography. Have a nice day, until next time.